Hello, I'm Stuart Midwinter. I am a recovering quadriplegic. Uh, I was injured at the C4-5 level, so I'll, you could say I broke my neck. And I'm here with my new uh, restorative therapies RT300 FES bike. FES stands for functional electrical stimulation. This cycle is moving my legs through functional electrical stimulation. Some of you may be familiar with the TENS machines that could be put on tired or injured muscles when you go to a physiotherapy class. This works on a similar principle of using uh, an alternating frequency uh, and a current to stimulate the nerve which then moves the muscles even though my brain can't move the muscles, the electricity will. So this type of cycle can benefit people with a wide variety of neurological problems ranging from complete spinal cord injury to incomplete spinal cord injury, multiple sclerosis, stroke, um, and other types of weakness. Um, the bike can either do all the work for you or if you have some volitional control over your muscles you can overpower that stimulation and use your own muscles um, to, to move the cycle. My goals in using this machine are to help retain the muscular strength in my legs, um, which in turn is going to help me keep my physical health, maintain my body weight, and feel mentally better as well. I don't have any finger function, so I need help putting the pads on my legs and getting set up. Once I've started to ride the machine, of course, I can be somewhat independent. I can reach the screen and as it's a touch screen, I can start and stop the exercise by myself. Some of the benefits of FES cycling for people in my type of position include better control of your weight, better blood circulation, better oxygenation of the muscle tissues that you're sitting upon, reduced risk of pressure sores, reduced risk of diabetes, better metabolic function, reduced risk of blood clots in your legs, um, reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, um, improved um, lung function, and it just feels great to see my legs moving under their own power. Before starting any exercise program, it's always a good idea to visit your family doctor and get his or her uh, blessing and encouragement to start the program. There are a number of things that should be considered if you have been immobile for some time. One of them is to have your bone density assessed and uh, take steps to increase that if necessary. And as well, ensure that there are no contraindications like um, heterotopic ossification, which really means limited joint mobility. In addition, at the start of the, pro of the uh, program to use the FES bike, you would be assessed by a physiotherapist who will determine whether you are prone to having autonomic dysreflexia in response to electrical stimulation. I try to ride three times a week. Initially, my muscles could only handle about 20 minutes a time, but within about a month, I was able to increase that duration up to uh, a full hour, and that's a typical kind of clinical um, thing that people would do. My muscles were very weak at the beginning, um, my power output was about 2 watts and that slowly inc increased over the course of a year to well over 100 watts. Um, it's important or beneficial to be consistent and regular with your practice. That's the way to make progress. After riding for an hour, I certainly have a little more of an appetite. Um, I know that my body's been doing a bunch of work and it's burn, burning uh, quite a few calories. Now, I don't use that as an excuse to pile on the food at the dinner table, 
but uh, I try to continue to eat healthy and this is part of a healthy regular exercise program that anyone would like to enjoy. I'm ready to start the exercise that I've programmed into this machine and I'll do that by just pressing the go button here on this touch screen. The machine is going to slowly start to move my legs in a passive manner and that will warm me up for about two minutes. After that point, gradually the electrical stimulation will come on and my legs will start to push the pedals on their own. At this point, the RPM is slowly increasing up towards 30 RPM. And this will go on for the warm-up period, which I've set to be one minute. Now we're entering the active phase where the machine is starting to supply electrical stimulation to my muscles and that will show on this part of the screen to the right. The stimulation will gradually increase. What the machine will do is increase the stimulation until my legs are moving at the target RPM against the specified level of resistance. Every registered user of this FES bike is registered in a database maintained by the manufacturer. Because of that, I can climb on any FES bike in the world of the same type and instantly all my settings will be available to me. At the end of every workout, all of the measurements and values recorded during the ride are put into a database and logged so that I can look back over months and and see my progress in terms of increasing strength and, and distance ridden. Personally, I am keeping track of the distance because I am riding across Canada. Uh, in the last year and a half I've ridden over 3,000 kilometers which now puts me somewhere east of Sudbury, Ontario on my way to Newfoundland.